Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Elizabeth, and today we're going to be talking about 11 strategies to train your mind for massive success in life. So I hope this video is helpful to you. I hope that um, with whatever goal or dream that you have, that some of these tips and some of this information can help you to feel inspired or motivated or give you the tools, the tips, and the strategies to achieve what you want in your own life. We all have different goals. We all have different dreams. And we all have so much talent and many gifts and things inside of us that I believe we need to tap into and bring out into the world. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Let's get started. All right. So the first thing to do is to quiet the mind. So there's so much noise and stuff going on in the world today. One of the best things you can do is to be quiet. And if you don't know what's going on, or if you feel overwhelmed or over out of control, or you're not sure what choice to make or what to do, try to be quiet and try to silence that mind. It can really help you have success. Some of the best ways to silence your mind is through meditation, yoga, a quiet environment, um, and apps like Calm or different things like that. So it will help you to tap into your creativity, tap into yourself as a person. I know that it's one of my favorite things to do. I love being around people, but I also really, really value and need quiet time thinking time. Even Sarah Blakely, the millionaire founder of Spanx, she has thinking time where she lets her mind just wander and be creative. That's where she gets her ideas. She has a six minute commute. She only lives six minutes away from her work, but she actually goes and drives and for over an hour um, just to let herself think and give herself that time. So give yourself the time to be quiet. It's such a gift just in general, but also in this world that we live in today. Number two, you want to create a three-year vision or a plan. So Jonathan Swift said, Vision is the art of seeing what is invisible to others. It's essential to communicate to your mind what you want in your life as a clear picture. So you want to visualize and create a three-year plan. You want to have a plan figured out so that you know what steps to take and where you want to be. You have to tell your mind, where do you want to go? Who are you? Even if you're not that person yet, you want to start telling yourself that that's who you are and start thinking about, this is where I want to be. And that will help you to achieve success. If you're just going along with everyday life and reacting to life and playing life on defense, then that's what you're going to get. So be proactive, do the right things, and eventually you will get to where you want to be. Number three, they chunk down their goals. So sometimes having this big goal, this big vision is just too much for your mind to process and to tackle at the moment, um, and especially depending on the personality type. And if you're more neurotic, it can be like, ah, how do I get all this done? Or I see this vision for myself. At least you finally see it. But it's like, how am I going to get there? Oh, my gosh. It's like that um, picture. If you've seen that image and like seeing the whole staircase, it's like to get through that big staircase or that big mountain, you got to take one step at a time. So chunk things down into smaller goals, into more bite-sized pieces, more manageable things. So figure out what is the end goal and then reverse engineer it from there. Um, I've heard reverse engineering so often. I think it is critical. So where do you want to go? And then figure out the little steps that you need to take in order to get there. Number four, I really love this one and it's something that I need to definitely work on is to celebrate your wins constantly. So I can celebrate the wins of other people, but on your life and in your life and on your success journey, you want to celebrate any win, the big wins, the small wins every single day. And this helps reprogram your mind to see success and to want success, right? And so if you're just glossing over some of these little wins, like even having a good day where people don't get hurt, people are happy and thriving, like that's a win. That's a good day. It's a thing to celebrate. Or maybe you accomplished a couple things off your checklist. Like that is something to celebrate. So make sure you celebrate your wins. I know sometimes I'm like, all right, I got it. And now I want to move on and keep going towards the goal. But if you celebrate along the way, you're training your mind and it's going to actually help you get where you want to be faster. And honestly, in a more enjoyable way, it's about the journey not just the end result. Number five is just to be careful about social media. And so social media can really impact your brain and your thinking. And it's such a comparison tool um, or it's a trap and you're not focusing on your own life. It's like that entertainment and this and you end up being like just you went started here and you got there and it's like, what am I doing? And 40 minutes is gone and all that stuff. So just be really careful. Like it, it doesn't mean you can't use social media. I think social media could be a great tool. Like obviously I'm using YouTube and different things like that. Um, but just being mindful about what you're consuming and um, how it is impacting you. And honestly, sometimes you just need to take a break. Like we talked about being silent can be really helpful for your brain. And so this is true. Sometimes you just need to put the phone away, turn off social media and just be with you, go do an activity, do something for you. And then honestly, you'll probably feel a lot better and your mind's going to be refreshed.
Number five is to practice gratitude daily. So, so many successful people talk about gratitude and just having this attitude of gratitude. And I totally agree. Um, I think if you want more good in your life, you have to be grateful for what you already have. I've seen that so many times and they're like, why would you get more if you don't even appreciate what you already have? And so be appreciative, be grateful. And I think sometimes like seeing how other people live or other countries live or different things like that can really help give you perspective. Or if you hear about some of your friends having a hard time or something like that, like you really get perspective. Sometimes when you're just in your day-to-day -day life, you're just like, oh, like I want this and I don't have this. And uh. it's like, look at all the things you do have. And so be appreciative. You can write these things down, but also don't be afraid to email, text, tell people that you care about them or you're thinking about them and stuff. It really can change your life and can change the lives of other people too. Next is to be careful about what you think, your limiting beliefs, how you, your worldview and how you think. And so honestly, like there's things that we've learned from childhood. There's things that we've learned throughout our lives. Um, and Ha that's how we see the world. It's our lens and maybe it's not serving you. So it's really important to look at that and look at, is this a fact? Is this just what I'm thinking? And to start developing your, a new worldview and to be really careful because we have all these programmed thoughts and things in our mind that might not be serving us. So it's important to take a look at that and to go, is this serving me? Is this not? Is there anything holding me back? In order to achieve success and to have a better mindset, you need to love yourself. So self-love and self-acceptance um, and having self-worth is so key. And so many people talk about this as well. Um, it's really important just to love yourself, to give yourself grace. Um, you're going to have bad days, hard days, especially if you're on a journey um, trying to achieve a goal or something that you want in your life. And you need to love yourself and appreciate yourself along the way and just give yourself some grace. So a little more self-love, a little more um, appreciation and just kindness and compassion for yourself goes a long, long way. Number eight is to work fewer hours. So it's actually really good for your brain not to be just like working constantly, 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 constantly. Um, so some people really like to work a lot and that's totally fine, but work smarter, not harder if you can. In this society, a lot of people say work smarter and harder because a lot of people are working hard. So you got to work smart too. Um, but just be careful and mindful of how much time you're spending working and is there a way you can make work easier or maybe you can reduce the amount of time that you're working and streamline things and just be creative in that way. So just be really careful with how much time and attention you are focusing there. Number nine, make sure you're staying in the present and staying where your feet are. Don't wander too far into the future. Don't wander too far back in the past. The past is the, pa is the past. Take what you need to, to learn from it and then move on. It's never going to help you if you are stuck in these thought patterns or stuck worrying about stuff um, or projecting things into the future. Be where your feet are, be present, and it will help you to create the future, right? You're creating the future. So if you're focusing on the past, you're focusing on things you're worried about in the future, that's what's going to happen. So focus on the now and how can you enjoy the now and just every moment right now is a gift. Like I'm never going to get this time back again. And I'm never going to get that time back again. And again, and again, and again, be present, be here right now. Number 10, schedule your goals, schedule your life. So you're not going to get where you want to be if you're just floundering around or just going with the flow. You have to be intentional. You have to have a plan. You have to schedule your life in order to get the things that you want done. And so first you need to identify what are those things, but then you need to plan them and then you need to do them. All right, so those were 10 things to help you train your mind to achieve success. I know a lot of the success journey is a lot about belief systems. It's a lot about your mindset. It's a lot about perseverance and getting through some of these challenges. Yes, it's about the skills and the things and the habits that you need to do to get what you want. But a lot of times it's our mindset, it's our limiting beliefs, it's those things in the subconscious mind that is getting in the way. So be careful um, and then move forward regardless of your situation. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, did you take any lesson away or any tip? What do you have um, tips for other people or what mindsets do you have that has helped you in your life? Please let me know in the comments below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos like this and share with a friend if you think it could be helpful to them and if you think they'd like to join the community. So thanks so much for being here. Good luck to you on your journey. You've got this. Keep working. Keep learning. I know that whatever you have inside of you is is meant to come out into the world and I know that you could do it in time. So thanks so much for being here. You got this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.